Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your Friday. This is for October 27th for the fire sign. Your daily love soulmate relationship. Okay. Um, in our extended reading, we'll go for the further down the situation as well as the guides for the fire sign. Okay. This is for the Aries, Lee, and Sagittarians. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I'm a little bit comfy, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys don't mind if I'm comfy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Woo! Fire sign, you got here four of wands. I hope you guys can see it, okay? But this energy is about one, very, very good. Um, whoever you're connecting with, um, it's becoming more solid, more grounded, more stable, okay? Some people, yes, would probably be in a relationship. Okay, that's one thing that you have to consider. Um, but this also maybe on this day, Friday, is some sort of celebration. It is the day of Venus. Um, you could be connecting with another fire sign over here. And I'm sensing here, you're getting a lot of attention from this person. Okay? And this uh, this person is also someone that you are submitting to. Interesting, because you may be getting it, but it's starting to get annoying. Because you have here five of swords. Okay? It's like this person is all over you, and you feel like it's like, ah, why is this person too much? It's like, it's like I know we like each other, but it's, you know, like, you know... It's just getting, it's just hitting you right now on the spot. I don't know why you're edgy, fire sign. I don't know what's with the stars, but I'm feeling you're gonna be edgy on Friday. So be careful. Because the person is just, you know, I'm sensing it's a water sign giving you that attention. So do a little bit, you know, just let, him, let them be, you know. Um, let me see here. Um, you're gonna be connecting with an air sign over here, but the air sign appears to be very lazy on how they wanna interact with you also, fire sign. And then you have here, judgment. Scorpio energy, the judgment card from what I'm sensing here is about this person finally decided to make a big bold move on Friday and you are not on the same page as this person is right now. Something happened at work, something happened in the house, okay? So before this happened, try to basically grab yourself into more centered energy so that less friction. I'm also sensing here that this judgment card is this person is telling you something that it's like, oh, you know what? I, I'm not seeing anyone anymore. And you didn't expect that. Because for you, it's like, wait, are we in that stage already? Because it's like, we didn't discuss this. Underneath the judgment is five of pentacles. See, we didn't discuss this. <laughs> this is when you guys don't talk. Okay. So they did something that you guys didn't talk about. You, you know, and it, it really caught you off guard and you don't want to talk to them right now. Uh, for you, it's like, uh, let's not talk right now. Let's not talk today. Um, it's not that let's not talk forever, but this is a lot of five. So there's a lot of energy of Mars. So Aries, do be ready. Um, this is very scorpionic also. Let me see here. Underneath the five of swords, we have here nine of swords. Total stressful day, guys. Be ready, okay? The nine of swords energy over here is that whatever is bringing, whatever they're bringing that day really is not the day to be brought. Okay, seriously, I need to know what, what what's going on on the 27th with the stars because this is some sort of, I know Venus is in somewhere, okay, um, but this is like, the connection that you're trying to get is like, it's not really what it seems, you look at it because the four of wands is really good, right, and then now it's showing something else. So this something else is the reality of the connection that you are having with this person. Now, do you still want this person? Because here comes now the reality of what you have manifested. Be careful for what you wish for because it's here. Okay? This is as good as it gets though. When I say it's as good as it gets, this is the breakthrough that you have to go through with this person. If you want to go, because there is no next level over here. This part is where you just need to keep understanding where the person is coming from. The person is erratic. <laughs> okay. Not unstable, erratic. Because they did something that surprises you. Underneath the four of wands is a king of wands. So you can be dealing with another fire sign or this is your energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarian. Yes, you want the person. Yes, you find them desirable. But the way that they talk to you or the way that they just make sudden decisions, you just can't handle this. There's also someone here who is, um, you know, separating themselves from other people. And the judgment over here, I think they're shutting down. When you guys argue this Friday, they will shut down. They're just going to go, so you know what? I'm going to go to bed. I'm not talking to you. Underneath the Five of Pentacles, let me see. Ooh, okay. Underneath the Five of Pentacles, we have here is, sorry, I just need to check if it's not flipped out. Okay. Is the Magician. Okay. So, 
this person tries to do so much stuff with you but it's the wrong stuff that you want so they mean well yes they do want to do it with you yes they want to express themselves but they're not hitting where it's supposed to hit it's almost like if i have to say it it's like they're missing the g-spot of whatever it is because there's something that you like so for you it's like um if you can only if you only know where it is i'll be happy and they're trying though so i'm going to continue this reading and how it pans out because they're going to keep trying you can be connecting with another fire sign earth sign in their ascendant and uh, moon can be in their water all right so thank you very much guys for watching have a wonderful wonderful friday and i will see you guys again and check the stars please before this days happen all right bye